Well guys, now I have two units, but we're going to talk about this unit. I've had this tool for about mm, a month now. I take it to work with me every day. As we all know, or maybe you guys don't know, but some do, I am an on-site technician. I take many tools with me to do simple basic tasks, have it be Wi-Fi or network or scopes and all that kind of stuff. And I was on site. And I thought, I'm going to bring this tool with me and I'm going to try some stuff. Usually, I bring my phone or my laptop and then a whole bunch of cables. And I said to myself, oh, I wish I could log into this switch, an Altalab switch when I was on site, and check a port status and see what was going on. I didn't know this, but you can actually add apps to this. And today, I'm going to show you how to request an app because maybe it's not in the store like I didn't know it was there and then we're going to add it to this and I'm going to show you how well it works. Now this is important because sometimes you should, don't need a laptop, don't have your cell phone and you just want to do something small but there's an app for the device you're going to access on the network and in this case today I'm going to show you Ultalabs because I have some Ultalab stuff over there and I'm going to show you how it works on this device. Now, we can remote manage this device two different ways also. And I really like that idea because when you're on site, I could help somebody who's on site or I could rec record my screen sessions and stuff like that. Or if I really wanted to, and I was brave, which I'm not brave, to leave this on site to do some testing and stuff like that. As long as it's got power on the side so it can last all day and it's connected via the management port ethernet port on the side or Wi-Fi like how mine is you can do stuff on the network it's basically like a big Android phone but it's not it runs Android so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on it takes about a minute to boot up because it's got lots of stuff to do and then it'll connect to the network I'm gonna log into my link live account and I'm gonna do a remote session and show you guys and then we're gonna add the Alta Labs app I'm going to also show you how to request an app and um, I'm going to thank the support guys in that alley because I phoned them and I said hey it'd be awesome that we could load apps on here and stuff like that and they said you can do that and then they showed me how to request an app and I didn't know from when I'm because I'm very new at this device I didn't know that we could add apps by request I thought they were only locked down to what the apps were on the actual device I didn't know that a very sweet tool that you can add apps that will make your life easy in the field using this device. It's online, so let's log into my site here. We go to link-live.com. Don't forget to set up 2FA on your account. I just disabled mine so that way I have no issues because I want to show you this device. Here's my device. First, what I want to show you is how to at request an app. So what I did first was Google and I typed in Play Store app. And then I went to here and I clicked on this and then I took this URL right here, copied it. In here, we can go over to the little sidebar here. We can t click on three dots, click apps. And there's tons of apps down the side there. But if you want to request one, we click the little play button down here and we can go request app. So what it is, I clicked on that. I put the app URL in there and I typed in, hey, this app allows us to manage Ulta Labs switches and access points. And then I clicked request. Not going to do it now. Not even 12 hours later, the app was in the store. I got an email saying approved and the app is ready to go. If we scroll down right here, there's the app. And we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you right now how to add it on there, I think, because I haven't done it yet. So what we do is we click on my unit, uh, units, oh, units, units, and there's mine, well, temporary. And then we can go remote control, 
Now you're gonna see the screen change on here because I'm gonna be remoting into that. You'll see me moving it around like it's an Android, but I'm gonna still screen capture this so you guys can see too. There we go. It's on Wi-Fi. So there's two ways to connect this. We have to be on the management port for ethernet, for connectivity, or Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm using Wi-Fi because there's less cables on the desk. So now we have remote access to it. We go down to App Store, and then what we look for is Alta. Oh, probably went too, a little bit too far. Let's see here. Let's see if we can just type in Alta. A L T A. Let's click search. It's a little bit slow because I've got the Wi Fi in there, but there's the app. So now what we can do is go download. Well, that's a bummer. I asked or asked them to put a application in the store that requires a newer version of Android because of authentication and stuff. And since this NXG uses Android 8, I think it is, the app didn't work. It did, but it didn't. It would authenticate, it would log in and then stop. So I phoned support and I asked them, I said, hey, I asked for these two apps. I submitted the request, you guys put them in the store. Thanks very much for putting them in there real fast. They don't work. I mean, it would work, it would log in and then log right back out, log in, then log right back out and it wouldn't function. So they did some digging and they're like, yep, Android 8 doesn't support the methods for security for these apps. So I said, okay, well that's kind of meh, oh well, is what it is. And then they said the new version and they're like, hey, we noticed you have this guy on your desk, it will work on that, so go try it. So I loaded the app on this, plugged it into the network, and it worked flawless. So my apologies, the app doesn't work on this, and I'm not too sure if they're gonna update the NXG to the latest version of Android, as this one runs 11, and it's a very special version of Android because it runs the apps. I don't know if they're gonna update that, but if they do, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I guess what I'll do is I'll show you how the app was supposed to work or how I intended it to work on this guy right here. So let's use a 10, actually no, I'm gonna use a one gig link. I got some multi-mode adapters. We'll put those into here. Turn on the link, the device. We'll use, we'll do a test as we logged in too. But I have to get another cable, so hold on a second here. I'll get this one plugged in. And I'll plug it into my network over there. This way, nope, this way. I'll plug that in, turn this guy on. I'll run this cable down here so I don't trip over it with my feet. And then I'll grab another one because we need the manage port plugged in so we can manage the device. We'll remote in and I'll show you here. Oh, I need this. Take the caps off. So we can put them back on after. Put this in here, plug that in. On the screen here, we'll see it come back online here in a minute. Don't wanna lose my Velcro here. Let's push this over here. Let's see here, wired profile, start. Doing a test here to make sure it comes online. I can't remember, I'm still new to this product of playing with it. I can't remember if I have to plug it into this one and I can remote access to it or if it has to be in this one. This one's a little bit, devi this device is a little bit different and it acts differently when you do that stuff. So hold on, let's see here. Oh, I was right, yes. So we can use the LAN port in the top management because it just came online there. So I don't technically need this cable. So we could do tests from this port, either be fiber with an SFP in there or an ethernet Right now we're connected at one gig with a simple transceiver and it's online, we can see that. If I remote into it, I'll show you me moving around and then we'll try the Alta Labs app. So let's go remote. Sorry for the delay in the video guys. I got sick with some kind of weird head cold and I was out for about a week or so. Ah, there it is. So as you can see, we or I can move around on the screen here now. We can go like this, back to the main page. You can see me remote and moving the device. Let's go to the, 
can't remember if I can, it's hard to scroll on a touchpad here, but I think we should be able to go like this. Yep, there it is. And the only reason I'm doing that is so I can scroll up, but you can see on the screen here, I'll go like one of the two, we'll go like this. We'll launch this. The Alta Lab app will come up. And the really nice thing about this is I've gone on site and I've actually checked things. It didn't ask me to log in because I already logged in, but I took this to work a couple times and I was like, oh, I need to manage a switch. And I didn't have my phone with me, but I had this because I was way back in the rack. And the reason why I really like this is because I can click on certain things and do tests. Now I'm gonna show you on here so you guys can watch here, but watch this. I can go to network and see all my devices, what things are going on. I have my eight port mini, I have a 24 port main switch. But if I go to the switch, I can click on this and I can see all the ports that are lit up and what things are going on. Right now, I have a access point plugged into one and confirmed it's over here and it's up there and we're connected to it. I can change things and check on things. So I'm not gonna do it on here because I'm gonna block the view. But if I click on one of these, I can make some settings. So I can go here and I can edit all these thing, things like what you would with the cell phone app. Nice to do that because I didn't have to bring my laptop. And actually that day that I was trying this, when I was on site, I did forget my laptop and all I had was this. And I thought, the Alta Labs app, it's installed on this device. Plugged it in, I was using RJ45 and it worked. And I was able to fix things on site. Now, the problem I was having is I was trying to test a phone and the management or the VLAN wasn't set properly. And that's why I needed the device. It worked great. So. There's other apps out there that we could download and as you start progressing and using these devices, more and more apps will become more available, especially for people where they're doing certain things. Now I think there's Cisco switches out there, there's Alta Labs, there's Grandstream, there's whole kinds of different apps for these products that are starting to come out. Even if they're local, they'll still talk to them, so that it's a really good idea. So when they made this device and they have the latest version of Android on there, that's awesome because now we can load the apps. Kind of bummed about this one, but hopefully they'll either update the OS or make it so those apps will run. I don't know how they would do it because I'm not a software guy, but that's pretty sweet. I like that feature. Another thing that I like about this device, when I go to site, the very first thing I do is plug it in, turn it on, and then I go like this, discovery. And the reason why I do that is because if I make any changes or anything changes for the IPs and stuff like that, I can find those kind of things in the list if I made a change. Like I was working on a printer one day and the printer MAC address I didn't have because it wasn't close to me. I had it in the list here. It was great. It helped me out so much. And the one thing that I noticed with different other products like these is if you're connected to the internet or you're on a network and you do a scan or a discovery, it automatically pushes it up to your cloud and you get an email. Right now I'm online right now and I can see my computer over there. It's got little notification flags because I keep clicking on doing stuff and it sends me those notifications. So if I go to this one right here and I go auto test and I click start, it will do the whole full test that I have. And I've got a video coming out how to set up your different auto tests. Once it's done doing all these on the screen here, you can't see these little circles because they're moving too fast and the frame rate's a little bit different. But on here, it's doing a bunch of tests. It'll come back and tell me what is connected and what it's doing. After it's done that, it just shoots a quick information to the cloud account that you have, which is included with your device because it's online. No pairing to an app or a phone or anything like that. It just shoots it up there. Many, many little things that I have that I've been playing with with this that I really, really like. Haven't dived too much in it. I haven't had too much time because I was sick. But uh, yeah, I really like those features. I am going to try to work on some videos to use these two devices with the NXG. And I'm going to show you guys how to use the wire mapping because those work really well. But for now, the whole purpose of the video was to show that we can get apps on that one. Didn't work. But this one, it did. So key feature, I like it. Uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully that helps you guys get some attention because of the things I'm going to do here. And I guess we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it was good. If you have a question, let me know. I'm still learning about it and uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later.